if I could sort of run the camera as I unpack another box. Um, so I'll sort of do that, but you may not see the whole deal. Um, this is a, a box that I received from Eric with some goodies. Um, uh, so I will, uh, I will uh, show you uh, uh, the basics. Uh, box, styrofoam lined with a styrofoam lid with two heat packs. A packing list on top, very important item. A uh, piece of cardboard. Um, as I bent down, I heard this thud off the box, and it's our friendly neighborhood mangrove pit viper, Cryptolytrops purple maculatus, uh, dinging the side of the cage. And we have Mr. Sniffles uh, uh, looking on. There you go. Hi, Sniffs. Say hello to the people. And then uh, even Miss Gabby is sort of mm, thinking about looking out the window there. Um, of course, I tried to get Gabby to uh, go for a stroll the other day, but she wasn't interested in doing that. But now that I have other things to do on the floor here, I guarantee you she'll be wanting to come out. Hello and welcome to America. Ah, yes, that's the greeting I expected from you. Uh, for those who can't see him quite yet, uh, this is a uh, Cryptolytrops purpulum maculatus, better known as the mangrove pit viper, or what I call the puff adder of the Cryptolytrops world. These are the meanest suckers. Every single one of them that I've ever encountered uh, acts like a puff adder, but with the agility of a tree viper. Right? Yeah, how about that? Oh, yeah, make it go for me. Yeah, how about that? Oh, yeah, make a go for me. Always expect these guys to, uh, to be friendly like this. And uh, they rattle their tails and strike... Uh, uh, with quite quite a lot of vigor. You know, I really like snakes with uh, such a friendly disposition. Uh, uh, they usually do much better in captivity because they're just too evil to die. Is this enough uh, action footage for you? Huh? Oh, that was a good long reach. Ah, look what else came out of the box. A very testy Trimosaurus Hagenai, or Hagen's Viper. Now, these guys are really neat because they're just so green and so mean. Green and mean. That's the camera. You gonna bite it? Huh? Look, all I want to do is give you a do is give you a drink of water and not be bit. Uh, 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 uh. Boy, we could have a Trimosaurus uh, bobblehead here. She's really cranky, and she looks like she's setting up a shot on my fingies. And I know somebody who uh, uh, tangled with a Hagen eye before, and between the Hagen eye and the doctor, 
Mr. Fingy is no longer attached to his body, which is pretty ugly. Well, it's too bad uh, she's not really interested in drinking right now. Uh, uh, maybe a little later. Uh, right now, she is just interested in biting, basically. Well, she's jet-lagged and cranky, and since I travel all over the place and get uh, jet-lagged and cranky too, uh, I can understand that. You know, it's, if some uh, airline representative, uh, after an international flight, uh, stood at the boarding door uh, and sprayed me in the face with water, uh, I would be uh, very cranky too. So I think we'll just let uh, this Hag and I here uh, uh, settle in. And for you guys that thought uh, Mr. Uh, Sniffles was boring, uh, you'll really like some of the slow motion of, uh, of Miss Hag and I here, I'm sure. I just absolutely don't like sticking my hand down into a bag where I can't see things. Uh, but I guess these are stuck enough that I don't have a choice. Okay, these are, are mats. Ooh, but... We'll open this one up and show you because it's uh, it's something you don't see every day. Um, although I'm sure it's it's going to be a bit of an exciting uh, uh, moment because these guys are very fast and uh, rather hot. These are related to my little uh, pogo sticks with venom over there. These are uh, I believe they're Bothrops Lycoris. Uh, could be Bothrechus, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's Bothrops or Bothrops. Um, Yes, I see your little eyes pivoting around. Um, we'll uh, sort of try to let you have a look there, and you see, uh, little guy is rather, rather nice looking, and just decided that, hey, the lid's open. I can get out of here. I bet. Real pretty little snake. But I think we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that because um, uh, these guys are like grease lightning and uh, it's lights off in here in a couple minutes so I want to get this done for the night. Well look, I couldn't resist taking it out. Um, is that a beautiful little animal? Look at that. And that's almost as beautiful as the uh, uh, the Bothrops uh, Cania. Uh, I can't ever pronounce that. Uh, but the uh, uh, forest uh, pit viper. Wow, very very nice looking animal. What do we have here? This was stapled to the snake bag that this fellow was in. But something tells me this is not your ordinary uh, rat snake. Uh, fortunately, I knew he was in the shipment, and uh, um, as you can see, he's already a very friendly little chap. Uh, this is the infamous uh, eastern brown snake. 
and uh, uh, he's already killed um, probably three people in Australia this year. Uh, very unpleasant uh, venom, this guy. Um, now I need to get him from this deli cup uh, into this uh, enclosure. Uh, and as you see, I've got holes drilled uh, because uh, he will get the very special uh, uh, wing nuts to keep uh, keep the lid closed and uh, him inside and me outside. Sometimes when you anticipate uh, a very uh, difficult time, uh, it just doesn't happen. Um, I opened the cup, inverted it, and uh, dropped him in there and he made a beeline right for the hide which uh, was the exact purpose uh, I put it in there so we'll just let him be uh, and I think we'll all uh, get along pretty well with that I'm sure he'll be out uh, later once he settles down a little bit